ramp and some crazy motorcycle person. You can't draw a motorcycle person. There we go. Goes flying up through the air and then presumably lands safely over there. Um, and the question is how high does the motorcycle person go? And uh, it tells you the initial speed here, right? What was that? 37.2. 37.2? And that's meters per second, right? Right. Okay, and then it tells you the speed at the top, right? Yes, 35.1. Oh. 35.1 meters per second at the top. And what you're thinking is, ah, projectile motion, I know all about this, break it down, x and y. Step one, I need an angle. And it doesn't give you an angle. Right? There's no angle here. It doesn't tell you an angle to launch with. If it told you the angle, you could do the x, y thing, break it down, and go through that rigor roll that we did back in chapter three. Right? But then you remember, ah, oh, wait, this is the energy chapter. Everything gets easier now. So all you do is you grab <coughs> the big bad equation that you use throughout the whole chapter. Energy heat. Initial is energy final minus the work not conserved. This particular problem said no friction, so this piece is zero. And then you just start asking yourself these the same three questions. Here's the start, here's the end, and at the beginning, is anything moving? motorcycle person, they're driving fast, so they've got kinetic energy. So you've got one half and V squared at the beginning. Uh, is the person off the ground? Well, this begs the question, where is the ground? And so what you need to do is define the ground for every problem. And the ground is best defined as the lowest point of any object. So whatever the, wherever the lowest point of your object is, that's the ground. And since the person starts here, we'll call this the ground. And so if that's the ground, was the person off the ground? No, they're on the ground. Okay, so no potential energy. And there's no springs involved, so we don't have to worry about springs. Okay, so now we go to the final situation. So now this motorcycle driver is flying through the air and they're up here. And is the motorcycle driver moving? Yes. Yes. Okay, so we've got kinetic energy. So we're going to have one half m v squared, but now this is v final, this one was v initial. Is the motorcycle driver off the ground? Mm -hmm. Yep, so now we have mgh. <coughs> and there's still no springs involved. So, now you know everything except H uh, and M. But what do you notice about M? You can cancel out. Yeah, if you divide both sides by M, it just goes away. And now you solve it for H. And you never had to know an angle. No vectors, no nothing. So energies make life easier, but that doesn't give you all the information. So you've got to, if you needed to know all the information, you'd have to go back to your Fantastic Four and do all that stuff. But it does give you some information a lot easier. So if you can get away with doing it, 